I decided to open up the uh, the tuning section because I figured I may never see one of these again in the rest of my life so uh, I thought I'd take advantage and have a look and uh, look at this wow isn't this something um, so here there's uh, all of the various uh, trimmers and, uh, and inductors uh, associated uh, with with the tuning and in this fabulous casting um, so there's a, a wafer switch uh, that runs through and that's the wave band change the uh, five bands there um, but uh, isn't that uh, isn't that uh, a marvelous bit of engineering I'll uh, move the camera in for some close-ups So the good news here is uh, none of the ferrite cores are chewed up. Uh, sometimes you find if uh, someone's got into a radio like this they've uh, hacked at the uh, ferrite cores with a, a screwdriver but uh, I kind of get the impression that um, no one has been in here before. There's certainly no signs of any uh, activity which is good but uh, from a repair point of view you wouldn't want to have to uh, deal with one of these valve holders um, if, uh, that's a valve holder down there and that's about um, that's that's down a well of about uh, well probably two or three inches so uh, 50 or 75 millimeters uh, down a very narrow position so I certainly wouldn't want to have to uh, uh, get involved with, uh, with fixing anything down there but uh, isn't, isn't that a lovely uh, uh, a lovely bit of engineering so every, everything is there is, uh, me is mechanically stable and uh, I guess to some extent it's thermally stable as well Anyway, I'm glad I opened that up. As I say, I'm not adjusting anything because that would be silly. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a nut there um, trapped by the capacitor coming on the other side. So oh, who would believe it? That's one of those things, unless you saw it for yourself, you wouldn't believe it. Um, so uh, oh, it was so it was worth opening this up. Um, gosh, where's that come from? Uh, this absolutely shows why I wanted to make this video as I go along because uh, I could have told you about this but this is really you have seen this uh, in the same time as I have um, if I hadn't have opened this up I wouldn't have found this I don't know what the significance of uh, that particular short circuit is um, but it can't be an improvement <laughs> for any radio uh, so now I want to try and hook out uh, that uh, that little knot so I'll uh, just get it underneath so look at that how long has that been there how many years has that been sat there it's it looks like a, an unused knot maybe it's rattled around in there for a long time um, I can't see any other nuts in there that look similar to it uh, or at least in this section um, but there you go as I said in a, an earlier video just looking around um, you know, we may never have 
found, or it may have been very, very difficult to have found that. Um, it could have well given intermittent fault, but all we've done is opened it up and looked at the thing. Um, so I'm very, very pleased I've done that. Probably means I've got to look a bit uh, further now. You have no idea how pleased I am to have uh, seen that and to have, uh, have captured the moment, as it were, because it is, it is so typical of things that have happened all through my life. You just open things up and there's the problem. Uh, now I've got my eye, and can you see there, I'm pointing with the scriber, there's a, there's a little bit of solder, that's a, a splatter of solder that's dropped down. Uh, onto the side of that fixing screw. So that's been there since the radio was made but I think uh, with a little nudge it'll come off and I'll get I'll get rid of that. Um, and uh, there's one or two places where there are little uh, splatters of solder. There's another one there. You might say well it's not very significant but when you look at the spacing of these capacitors I'll, I'll try and get a close-up. has a very very tiny space um, there to give you some idea that's the end of my scriber um, and that's the end of the scriber against my finger so uh, the, the, the gaps between the uh, the fixed and moving plates is very very tiny so uh, that uh, that little bit of solder should it come loose could it get in there you saw how that nut uh, was misplaced. But um, anyway, interesting stuff. I had a good look around and uh, I removed uh, several blobs of solder that uh, would have been big enough to have uh, got between the plates of the trimmer capacitors uh, if the radio was uh, rolled around as it will be while I'm repairing it and uh, to pick the solder up I uh, rubbed the end of the scriber uh, onto the wax of a uh, wax capacitor and then used it like a contact adhesive to pick up the uh, various bits of stray metal. There's just uh, one other area of interest uh, whilst I'm in here on the wave change switch there uh, you'll see uh, get my pointer in there um, you can see uh, a bit of uh, corrosion there I suspect that's a, a bit of splatter from uh, some uh, corrosive flux many years ago but uh, you can see that switch that's not had a lot of use had it has it um, very uh, very little uh, um, movement wear on there but that little bit of corrosion, and that's nothing to worry about. I'll leave that for whoever is going to restore this radio. Let's say uh, the object of the exercise for me is simply to get it uh, working, um, I, uh, not not to restore it. Um, I, I haven't got time to make <laughs> videos and restore radios. Uh, um, uh, I, I've got grass to cut and things like that. Well, I've put that cover back on but uh, I cannot overstate the the value of just having a good look around and you, you've no idea um, how pleased I am to have found that uh, that nut that was lurking in there because um, there's every chance that it got lodged into that position as I've turned the radio over uh, as I've been uh, looking at it but uh, you could imagine uh, the fun and games uh, one could have if that would uh, uh, was loose and given a, an intermittent problem. Um, okay, I haven't even looked at the, uh, the rectifier um, specification I, I, on the, the previous video where I've got the wrong rectifier valve in here, in this radio uh, because I wanted to have a look uh, under this uh, aluminium plate and uh, boy, am I glad I did. So I think I'll uh, I'll post this one. Um, Anybody else that's repairing radios, you know you come across this sort of thing every day. But I think um, for the, uh, the, the people that are not familiar with it, um, sharing an experience um, of the things that you find, uh, 
I hope would be very valuable. So um, let me have some feedback and, and let me know what you think, guys. Um, okay, I think I want to call it um, the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.